let's take a look at how to thread an empty bobbin. Of course, we'll need our cylindrical spool of thread, our spool cap, our nippers or our fabric scissors, and of course, an empty clear bobbin. Let's set up our thread. Be sure that the thread is coming from the back of the spool. Place spool on horizontal spool pin. Then apply your spool cap. Be sure to not leave space in between the top of your spool of thread and your spool cap. After we've applied our spool of thread, look to the left and find the number one. This is the very first position for threading our bobbin. Now look down, directly below the number one threading position. Find the small silver screw. Lead your thread from position one on an angle towards the small silver screw. Be sure to thread this position properly according to the looped diagram. Now, lead your thread to the right of the machine, to the final position to thread your bobbin. Be sure to cut your threads so they're not too long to control. Now, grab your clear empty bobbin. Notice, there are two holes on one side and two holes on the other side. Choose any one of those four holes. Be very careful not to thread the bobbin incorrectly. Be sure to thread the bobbin coming from the inside Now place your bobbin on the bobbin winder shaft. Push the shaft to the right to lock the bobbin into position for winding. Here's a more detailed view from front at eye level. Be sure to hold your thread in position at a right angle. Now sit directly in front of your machine Press down lightly on your machine foot pedal. Hold your thread taut and in the right angle position. Your thread that you're holding will eventually break and your bobbin will continue to wind. Be sure that your bobbin is filling evenly. Once your bobbin is halfway full, now push your bobbin winder shaft to the left to unlock your bobbin. And finally, remove your bobbin from the bobbin winder shaft. 